Hey folks, Bruce Naylor here. Got a great question from Dave Sate. Dave writes, your Synology NAS looks pretty cool, so I went to the website. It looks like some functions are considered add-on packages and you have to pay extra for them. Well, how much extra? Synology does not appear to reveal that information on the website. That is disturbing. Thanks for the question, Dave. So, um, most of the Synology packages are free. And I did find a link talking about if you do run across a paid package, what the purchase process is like. Essentially, you have to have a Synology account and you would pay for that uh, package with PayPal. I believe that's the only method that they accept. There are just a few paid packages. One of them I found for $3 and uh, 99 cents and it was an extended uh, fat uh, access uh, application on there but for the most part they're all free there's actually a very active Synology uh, community that uh, develops packages as well now there may be other websites out there that sell add-ons for Synology which would be a different situation but essentially most of the packages are absolutely free well, let's talk just a little bit about the kinds of software available for your Synology NAS. Now, it's actually grouped into different categories, one of them being backup. Uh, and there's, you know, different backup applications available, including one that will synchronize your Synology NAS with the cloud, such as Dropbox or Google Drive, for example. There's also multimedia applications, uh, iTunes server, for example. There's a photo uh, media app, uh, music uh, application. There's something from Logitech. There's a number of multimedia applications on, on this device that can make it a great home media server. There's also business applications out there, including uh, Sugar CRM. There's another CRM, uh, VTiger. There's some security software out there as well. There's also productivity software. You can turn your NAS into a mail server, calendar server. Uh, essentially, you can make this into a fully functional uh, file server uh, if you wish, whatever, depending on what your needs are. Now, in my case, I'm really using mine more for basic file storage and to synchronize my critical files with the cloud, with my Google, uh, Google Drive. So you just are basically extending the capabilities of what this NAS can do with these add-on packages. So why does Synology offer all these different packages? Well, they just don't want to be part of the crowd. They really want to make their NAS solutions stand out from the crowd. And by adding all this extra functionality to your NAS, it's increasing the value of that NAS to you. And once that happens, you're going to find that that device becomes a very trusted resource for you and you'll continue to look at Synology in the future and furthermore if you're happy with Synology then that means you're going to recommend Synology NAS devices to your friends and co-workers and other business owners as well and that means that you're going to be staying with Synology and continue using it you know into the future so I think that's really what separates Synology for some other devices out there now I had an iOmega for example and had very limited extensibility but extensibility is the name of the game in these kind of devices now my needs as I said are fairly limited but you might be able to find a lot more uses for it because of these packages this extensibility of the NAS device so give it a shot take a look at it it's really not a big deal. Almost all of these packages are absolutely free, but I will include the link that discusses the uh, how to purchase and uh, the paid uh, packages well in the description down below. Bruce Naylor, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later.